I hope you didn't miss us because we're back. MLG Anaheim continues with TLO going up against Major, where TLO just performed kind of an easy counter swing. Yeah, TLO played great in that game number one. Can he can't can he come over to get? Well, I, I say play great, but it's more like he made a decision, a very snap decision. Yeah. To 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 kind of change commit, momentum yeah. completely and get the game. So it's not like oh we played a great game number one. He made that snap decision, <laughs> he, which is fantastic. He got in a bad spot in that Very first bad game. spot. And I mean, I, I really can't be impressed enough with TLO's in-game yeah. decision making yeah, yeah, because yeah. there's so many different so edges important. in StarCraft, being ahead in gas, being ahead in minerals, being ahead in both, which we call economy, having more units, and TLO always seems to know what edge he has and what deficiency his opponent has. All right, let's see if he can continue that into game number two. Obviously, doesn't want the early snafus to happen, would love to win a little bit more comfortably. So we'll see what happens here. But first, let's talk about this guy in the top left hand location. He is your blue Terran player who must win two in a row here to take down his opponent. He is Major. And spawning in the opposing position of King Sejong Station, one of the most popular players on the MLG circuit, it is Liquid TLO. Game number two, King Zhejiang Station. Very creative map, lots of bases. You know, a very interesting feature is the natural expansion. The back of the natural expansion where your SCVs are is, is kind of vulnerable. So a lot of Zergs like going for the Muta Link style. The Muta is going straight for that natural expansion where the vulnerable SCVs are. So, you know, something to look out for as this game goes along. Um, a lot of, you know, the, as far as an attack path is concerned, huge, pretty much a huge snake. Visualize a huge snake, like a boa constrictor or a python in the middle <laughs> of the map, kind of swooping along. It's a long way to go by ground. Another yeah, thing yeah. That, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, like, looking at the natural expansion of TLO, there's this entrance to the right, sure. and there's this entrance to the left. So it means you have to make a really big decision for where you put your units, because you can't walk them out into the middle. I mean, that's the most common characteristic of like every map, that there is a middle. And just by having this split, it is so uncomfortable <laughs> to move out too aggressively on this map. And I think we're going to see a lot of positional fireworks in the late game. Of course, and it's so fun to watch. I mean, when I see this map, I think of a two-hour Swarm host game. It still gives me nightmares, but this is a, <laughs> this is a Terran versus Zerg, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, and we're seeing a, a similar opening here from Major as far as getting the Reaper out. And again, something to watch out for. I know it's not a huge deal, but can he keep that Reaper alive? Because it's so important to keep that guy alive. Yeah. Gives you that map vision, <laughs> enables you to scout your opponent. I like how tenderly you're putting that. Can he keep it alive? Because he didn't last game. He did it. And that's bad. He did it. It's, I'm, I, you know, trying to cushion it a little bit, but it's yeah. a super important thing. Um, I mean, let's be honest. Thing, right? if, if you make an early game mistake, yeah, it'll affect it you. hurts so much. The longer the game goes on, the more yeah. hurt you feel. I mean, imagine losing a worker. One worker early on, that's 40 minerals a minute. After 10 minutes, that's 400 bucks. Yeah. After 20 minutes, that's 800 bucks. And in fact, money. that means in a long game, if you get 20 minutes after that worker killed, you have lost the amount of money it takes to build an expansion and defenses for it. See, I felt pain as you're describing that. And that's what these players are feeling when they lose those early game units. So <laughs> yeah. look out, Reaper. Stay alive, my friend. You can do it. I know you can. Um, and these guys, I know we're, we're, like, we're talking about that a lot, but these guys are good enough where that is going to make an impact on this game. So Reaper, staying back for now. Again, the main goal here is scout, apply pressure. Um, just be annoying. Just cause your Zerg opponent to have to worry about a bunch of different things at this particular part of the game and hopefully force them to be a little bit delayed on an inject or spreading a creature yeah, yeah. or call it what you want. Oh, God. I mean, that, that's actually such a... Yeah. I think something I should probably do more in my commentary because most of the time when I look at the early game, I'm like, bah, <laughs> standard. <laughs> and then I move on, but I mean, I, it, what you said is so, so key. This Reaper... Yeah is here every damn game. It is. And what we always see is a little movement around, and Major is going to have his exit point to this hidden little crag. Nice. And we normally say, oh, standard. But if TLO, like you said, got distracted and didn't get that inject, well, it's going to be a few less drones for that gas geyser, a few less banelings, <laughs> and, and those little ripples that propagate outward are always felt strongest at the start. I mean, it's like breaking your ankle at the start of the race versus the end of the race. Yes. 
A running reference. I say yes because of running reference. I was a runner in the past, so thanks, thanks for saying that. That's great. Yeah. Um, How many races have you run with a broken ankle? None, thankfully. Oh, wow, that's good. Thankfully. You have good running early game. I do. I'm very proud of my early game. I always try to get out fast. And that's what these guys are trying to do. Zergling's coming to the natural expansion. Ooh. Can they take down an SCV? That would be uh -oh. a nice little icing on a little cupcake. There's a second SCV vulnerable. He's like, where are my Hellion friends? You're supposed to be defending me. Here they come. Oh, it, if TLO can get out. <laughs> that is so cheeky. Running in, killing right. an SCV, and being like, and I was never here. <laughs> Bottom expansion down for TLO at a very normal time. Six minutes for that expansion, and then seven minutes for the double evolution chamber. Like and if it. you're also Scarlet, it's going to be around 7.30 for an extremely early Baneling Nest. Sure, and if we're comparing this to game number one, we're seeing very macro-based tactics here. There's no crazy early timing pushes here from Major, so he's deciding to go for, for a little bit more standard play. And again, if you try to do that again, your opponent's probably going to expect it. Meanwhile, we got some links running to the natural again. TLO trying to be annoying, but this time, the Hellions are there. Shouldn't lose too many SCVs and across the map. We have some units from Major also trying to do some damage. They're going to be retreating a little bit trying to get a sense of what exactly TLO is going for as far as he sees all these units on the map. He's trying to decide, okay, how aggressive is TLO being here? And I, 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 what you were talking about at the start of the game, all these varying styles from TLO, yeah, like that early Zergling move, it shows you how practiced Major is. He intentionally left those Hellions there for exactly that kind of push. Very, very nice. The game is unfolding delightfully, I would sure. say. Delightfully because it hints at the gorgeous late game that TLO yes. and Major uh, are just so, so excellent at. We see the two engineering bays popping down. These early three barracks from Major indicate that he wants to be getting a little bit aggressive with medevacs and a little bit less uh, emphasizing uh, of his upgrades. Sure, double engineering bay on the way. So TLO's gonna have a minor advantage as far as the, actually one of the, one of the Evo chambers is oh my god is is uh, not upgrading oh. so oh my god he's only getting plus one carapace and then plus that. one attack that's so important yeah I mean that that is the upgrade that makes Banelings super good against Marines he's gonna need that he's gonna so TLO I hope you find that soon because as the game scales we already have one one starting for major there we go he just now he just now clicked on that so TLO got that done but again upgrades so important especially in the TBZ matchup so many times you see the game coming down to can the Zerg player kill the Terran player before they get 3-3 while they're on 2-2 because getting taking that next step to that hive and getting oh, that 3-3 three, yeah. three out is so difficult compared to just having an armory as and a Terran player that's almost the race moment for Terran yeah. I got 3-3 three, three. I need to deal as much damage as possible before you catch up we're obviously very very far away from that point sure. in time but again, the ripples of the early game yeah. always affect the late game. We see that the Zerg is a little bit ahead on one upgrade. And that's going to go away very quickly as the yeah. Terran can get the fast 3-3. But what an aggressive fourth base from TLO. It's actually not I placed like properly. Oh, TLO needs to be about a hex down. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. All right. That's a very tender way to put that. This, yeah. is, this is an error. <laughs> that, is, that is an error in this game. I mean, at this point, I don't know if he cancels it. I'm sure he notices it, but more on that later. We're seeing some interesting moves from TLO as he's taking his Zerglings to knock down his own secondary natural entrance. And this is going to allow his Zerglings a yeah. lot of counterattack flexibility. Terran's hitting the left. I'll sneak out this backside on the right. We see that Major is still tempting fate by moving forward with Marines, Medivacs, and Hellions, but TLO seems reasonably locked down. Sure, uh, we see poking here and there. No major engagements just yet. Major actually coming across the left-hand side of the map, sees that misplaced hatcher. He might do TLO a favor by killing it so he can remake it somewhere else. TLO coming forward with the Lings and Baylings, trying to get those solid connections. He is on creep. I love how far his creep is out there, so he can get that surround, but those Marines are strong, and this hatchery is going to finish and might be taken down. Here come the Baylings, though, oh, 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 from TLO, oh, oh, oh. and barely getting him picked up. Took oh. down about three or four, and the hatchery stays alive just barely, but Major knows how low that hatchery is. He will be back. Yeah, lucky number 42 on that hatch. HP still barely standing, and it looks like round two oh. for Major. Uh, I, I have such deep respect for the fact that Major is not trying to suicide in there. That is an sure. easy way to get yourself <laughs> killed. That is an easy way to just hand value to your opponent. TLO being very watchful. Look out for that hatchery. Eight mutas, by the way, about to finish for TLO. It's very important once those get out. That can help limit those medevac drops. Of course, if you can do damage across the map in the middle lines, that's fantastic, too. As far as turrets are concerned, I'm not seeing much in-camp major. Meanwhile, that drop heading 
close to that hatchery, not going to get close enough. There's also going to be a drop in the main base of TLO. I love how Major is spreading out everywhere, but now that the mutas are out, there's going to be another threat that Major is going to have to deal with. Major does these drops very, very nicely. He's trying, well, he was trying to coordinate with that attack on the left side. We're seeing a little bit of value turn into a lot of value as Shofu, excuse me, Major is able to get himself uh, a lot of free Zerglings, a lot of free units. And what we'll see out of Major throughout this whole game is he's going to send one Medivac, not two or three. He's not trying to deal big damage with the drops. He's trying to get everything in the wrong place. And look at this. Mutalisk's in the main to deal with this drop. Perfect chance yes. for Major to swing through mid. Oh, don't want to lose any Mutas, though. Loses one. Mutas are so important in ZBT. They're, that's what you spend the gas on. And as the Mutas scale up throughout the game, you, get, you turn into a madman as a Zerg. It's so scary seeing 30 meters in the air, oh. but hold that thought. Banelin's coming forward trying to greet this gentle attack here from Major. He doesn't have enough to make too much progress. Gonna have to retreat, oh. and TLO oh. is just repelling every attack that we're seeing. But Major is doing one thing very important very well. He's conserving units. It's one thing to move out with an attack and have it die and do that for four or five rounds sure. and eventually be whittled away. But it's one thing when those units are getting to compound, when you're seeing increasingly large armies advance forward. 2-2 nearly done for Major, but 2-2 is done for TLO. So the biggest juncture for TLO's coming up, can he get to Hive yeah. and catch up on 3-3? You know, I don't see an infestation pit anywhere, so he might have some plans to do a lot of damage very soon. He has the 2-2 about to finish, might wait on the plus two flyer, but we're seeing nothing but units being made here from TLO. We're seeing Lings, we're seeing Banelings, we're seeing Mutas. This might be that style where he tries to crush his opponent with his 2-2 before the game goes any further. We'll definitely keep an eye on that. Major keeping a watchful eye over additional expansions, taking out a base that was trying to be made in the middle of the map. They're now going to be treating like, I'm, I'm really curious, what does TLO do from here? I don't see the infestation pit, so that makes me think he wants to be really aggressive. I mean, TLO... He might just be going pure old Scarlet mode and saying, you know what, Ling's Bane Ling's more than enough for me. TLO beginning to sweep in. He is Mutalisk's in the worst possible spot. Immediately no. Major capitalizes on that, Careful. picks it down to only 11, and we're seeing Major retreat. Okay. Ooh, full medevac gets picked down, and we're seeing TLO twist around to do a counter offensive. Yep. Can he get into the style of uh, style of step that we saw from Scarlet? It's all about the momentum here. When, you, yeah. when you're returning a fumble in, in football, you want to go all the way to the end zone. TLO has to make that decision right now. Does he go for it? He's hesitating a little bit, though. We see some drones in the production tab. Not not going to be attacking Ford, not going to counter immediately, but making more mutas, making more links, still no progression into any other text. So yeah, Ooh. sticking on that 2-2, but where this is going to start to hurt them, hurt him, is Major, he started the 3-3. And again, it's, this is a trend of ZBT that you have to be aware of. And there we see the infestation pit. So if you like Major's going to be a little bit ahead on the upgrades, again, something to watch going forward. We see uh, Major's doing a good job with these drops, but you know, there's something that I feel like is theoretically good on paper, but you just don't see. You don't have to have all your Mutalisks in the pack. You can have like two Mutalisks elsewhere, and Teal is doing a great job with those defenses, and it's giving him the chance to do these kinds of attacks. Careful, Widow Mines can do a lot of damage. Decent shot there. The Lynx trying to get his surround on the Marines. Major doing great with his kiting, though, trying to keep his Medivax alive as well. The Muta's hanging out, having fun. SCV is going to the wrong place at the wrong time. They're probably going to get taken <laughs> out. So TLO once again pressuring but backing up. Actually turning around to engage once again. you got to be so careful when you don't have Banelings in the mix. So going to back up for now. Still a very close game. Very back and forth. And we're even seeing TLO during those oh, moments. Oh, Muta's. no! no. Major with a great, great uh, pickoff. Getting those Mutalisks. Drop of the main two. By the way, Marines and Mirage trying to take down some drones of TLO. Meanwhile, Major so good at this, attacking in two places at once. Takes down that hatchery that was at 24 HP a little bit earlier. I said it to be back, and he was. Major, he's being very strong right now, attacking in a lot of different locations, really testing the multitasking ability of TLO. Yeah, I mean, that drop just magically teleported to the bottom right. Yep. This troop in mid is not particularly intimidating, but the Mutalisks aren't nearby, the Banelings aren't done. Like you said, that multitasking yes. is starting to fall apart for TLO. Yeah, and Major is just keeping a presence across the map. Always has a squad in some area on TLO's side of the map, and TLO might be getting a little bit frustrated trying to take down these units with the Marines, trying to do a counterattack with these Lings and Banelings. Oh but guess what's God. just about to finish? 3-3 for Major, and this is about to get very dangerous for TLO. This is not a planetary if TLO can manage to pick this off. 
then all of a sudden the long-term play is going to be gone for Major. What a pickoff! TLO whips around and targets the building knowing he can't win the fight, and suddenly TLO just has to defend. TLO going to be super happy about that. Major wants revenge, going to be countering across the map. Trying to take down a base from his opponent as his base got taken out as well, but sees all those meters, sees all those units there, backing up actually a little bit of indecision here. Now coming back up the ramp, trying to take down the Balans before they're done, and this is 3-3 showing its strength. Major gonna back up again, and... Uh, Looks like we see that the Mutalists are now picking off the main base. <laughs> the pool has to be rebuilt, and the Zerglings are the most important tool for TLO to stay alive, the Zerglings eat up the hits so you can get uh, your Banelings in, so your Mutalists can be protected and whatnot. All right. Um, a sense of urgency here in this game for both of these players as Major coming across the map, trying to take advantage of this 3-3 stim and trying to catch those Mutas. TLO, uh, you know, part of him is buying time. He wants a 3-3 for his zone, but he lost his spawning pool at Major. He's just having so much trouble dealing with all these attacks from Major. Yeah, Major doesn't have a big force anywhere, but he is always able to retreat. We're seeing Major almost be able to take out the Hive. Major trying to assault this middle position, and TLO does a swing around. TLO says, wait, is there a fourth here? No. Excellent. I can continue to defend. TLO's continually trying to find any vulnerability. Uh, or excuse me, Major's trying to find any vulnerability, and TLO is going to pick off oh. this center base, but I don't know how bad that is for TLO. Yeah, I mean, Major just has all control of all the momentum in this game, picking off that hatchery, backing up, TLO retaking that base on the left, so he's going to be able to transfer some drones in that location. But at the end of the day, Major's maxed. He's 194 out of 171, looking to take an additional base. Can he secure this fourth in the middle of the map? That's the big question. Because if he can, and TLO can't mess with it, that's going to really catapult a lot of momentum in his favor. Oh, free medevacs. Free medevacs are going to turn into free SCVs. Free medevacs. Oh, my God, free medevacs. Yeah, it's me. a medevac Nothing party. Better. He's getting medevacs, mines. Major has almost all of his main army back home. And this is what happens when the momentum turns. The simplest sign of momentum. Yep. Can those mutilists attack without really being contested? And now Major is dropping in the main base, trying to wow. seize control of that momentum. 30 mutas on the map. That's exactly what you want as a Zerg player. TLO feeling pumped, placing out two Ultralisk Caverns for some reason. Meanwhile, a drop in the main base. The Hive is vulnerable. The mutas oh, trying to no. back up and deal with that. The Hive gets taken out. Another great drop from Major. And he's always doing something else in the middle of the map, his entire army surging forward, taking down this base in the middle, and TLO back down to four bases. TLO unable to expand his territory. Meanwhile, Major securing a planetary fortress in the middle of the map back home. SCV still mining, Major playing fantastic. I mean, this is a super, super close game at this point in time. We're seeing that TLO has so much power in the skies and Major has absolutely no anti-air at this fourth base. Yeah. If for some reason TLO can get his Mutalist Cloud sure. over there, he can completely eliminate the most important expansion in the entire uh, map for Major. Sure. TLO, he needs money, though. He needs resources. And he's going to try to engage this uh, army right now. The Mutas might be overstating a little bit. Oh, he's not him. waiting for the yeah. Zerglings. Now he's moving in with the Zerglings. Zerglings from all side, Balin's from all side. This is going to be the disappearing Whoa. army act as wow. played by TLO. Great engagement there from TLO and Major. I mean, he keeps his medevacs alive, which is very important, but TLO's certainly going to be happy about that engagement. Meanwhile, TLO trying to deal with the draw. The Bailey Nest goes Oops. down. Major's so good about picking off units, picking up buildings here and there. And TLO, he has four, four Ultras in production as well, going to use that to supplement his army. Still a very close game. Extremely close, but look at the third for Major. Mind out, natural, mind out, main base, mind out. It's all about the fourth. We're seeing a single mine from Major sneak its way to the bottom left expansion and will be uh, begin to eat away at those ah, I like uh, that. At those drones. Cheeky. Six kills on him so far. That's one of the most annoying things to deal with. Again, just a minor thing that has to break your attention away from the flow of the game, which can be a big deal. And again, Major's so good about that. Muta's going to be floating on into the main base trying to see what kind of damage they can get done. Well, they're getting in there. This is the sign of the momentum living in Zerg's corner. Yeah, three ultras on the way. He's got well, Kitness plating on the way. Yep, finding free depots, finding a chance to expand, finding any vulnerability that he can. Gosh, it's so impressive. I mean, his resources have consistently been so low, and it's a situation where if you have 30, 30 mutas out, you're expecting to be building up a lot of banks so you can make a he like a really quick transition into those ultras, make like 10 yeah. or so at a time. I think is doing a very good job, you know, teching up, getting all those upgrades. While on low econ, um, 
you know, yeah. he's only has 50 drones, and he's still able to, to keep a good amount of momentum on his side of the map. But that being said, Major, once again, another drop on the right side, does not want those additional bases going up. These Ultralis having a little bit of trouble getting their way over to the left side. Oh, oh no! Marine takes it down with one shot. Mutas, careful. Oh, my God. What once was 30 has now been cut in half to okay. 16. I mean, TLO was looking to have complete control over the game to be in a dominating spot, and that just flipped the tides. Now Major has yeah. a fifth base almost, is going to turn it into a planetary. TLO needs to act fast. He needs to attack that, yeah. take it down, lock Major down to his fourth base, and just let the Terran slowly dwindle away with one source of income. These guys are playing so incredibly right now. Uh, TLO, when he flew those meters over, he was distracted by a drop on the right-hand side that killed his hatchery. So. That was the explanation there. Meanwhile, Widow Mines ran in random locations. It looks like that one behind that one middle line was taken out. There might be engagement very soon. Mutas, be careful. Don't throw yourself into Marines. Looks like he's trying to step an engagement. Ultra's coming forward. TLO's going to go for it. Major trying to kite backwards. Those are Ultras, and they are scary. Nice kiting so far here from Major. Mutas coming in here and there to take down a medevac or a Widow Mine. Bane looks exploding into the Marines, and the Ultras charging forward. Major trying to deal with this. Does TLO have enough? I mean, the Mutalist count that was 30 is now feebly moving forward at 16, but it is enough to kill the Planetary. The one ace in the hole for Major, the drop at the bottom left, the fourth base taking significant Gosh. damage. And it looks like TLO has broken through one of the Planetary Fortresses, but surprise, it looks like Major's got a second with only seven Mutas. There's not a lot of uh, opportunity for TLO to crush this from the sky, and yeah. there TLO spots the base. And his resources are, he can't rebuild his army. That's what you want to do as a Zerg player. You want to make decent oh, trades. Oh, and it's a GG. But there's a GG. What a great game, Major taking game number two. That game was crazy for a number of reasons, Sean. Yeah, very back and forth, and there were very visibly clear moments when those tides turned. I think the biggest one at the end, the Mutalist is flying directly over the Marines and dying. Yeah. Don't want to do that, and that's a mistake everyone's going to make every once in a while. That's a mistake you do not want to make at MLG Anaheim 2014, where every game is super important. Yeah. So important that if, like, an emergency was happening, we wouldn't necessarily acknowledge it. <laughs> nice. Thanks. For any of you who didn't know, an alarm went off and just kept going off that whole game. It was great. It was grand. <laughs> what we're going to be doing is hopping directly into the next game without any commercial whatsoever. So let's go ahead and hop into this match yes. on Waystation. Let's see if... Oh.